Hi, we're here at Earth Tools. We've got a BCS 749 walk behind tractor here with a 13 horsepower manual start gas Honda engine on it. This tractor is equipped with one size stand, larger than standard wheels, using the 5 by 12 wheels. We've got a 26 inch foil mower implement on it, made by Berta Franco. Uh, the tractor is also equipped with a debris screen. This is a screen we retrofit to the engines here at Earth Tools. It's a perforated uh, fine mesh metal screen that keeps chopped up grass from getting sucked up into the cooling air fins of the tractor engine and uh, clogging up and making it overheat. So this thing is equipped, ready to go for flail mowing applications. Uh, what we've got here to cut is we've got a mess of stuff that's grown over the growing season. We've got corn stalks mixed with uh, cow peas. Kind of a viney, just a pole bean basically. The frost came this a couple days ago and killed everything down, so it's time to flail mow it out. There's also a bunch of weeds mixed in there, so it's a real tangled mess, but the flail mower should have no trouble dealing with it. Uh, do a quick quick look at the flail mower here before we get started. Put my quick coupling pin. Flail blades are pivoting blades. That's the reason they call it a flail mower, is because the blades kind of flail around under there. Although centrifugal force typically makes them stand out straight from the drum as this thing rotates. This drum turns about 3,000 RPMs as the as the uh, machine is turning at a high at full engine RPM. And of course, the the pivoting blades allow the blades to recoil if they hit anything hard, like a rock or a stump or so forth. Height is adjusted by moving the roller up or down. Uh, it's got a variety of holes here that can be adjusted up or down for your roller height. A couple holes in the front, five holes in the back. The Berta flails also have a removable baffle, which if you bring the camera down here, you can see right here is the baffle. This baffle uh, being removable, it's held on by four or five nuts across the top of the flail drum on the top of the mower. But basically this baffle being removed or uh, not removed dictates the amount of uh, chopping the blades are going to do before the material discharges because this is the area that gets that the material gets spit out of right here. So if the baffle is not here, the, the hole is this wide and the material doesn't have to get chopped up as fine before it comes out. If the baffle is in, it holds the material in longer and chops it up finer. So this is the only flail mower on the market that actually has an adjustable discharge size according to whether you've got the baffle in or out. So if you're mowing a cover crop or a bunch of vegetable residue in the garden like we're doing here, it's a good idea to have the baffle in because you want it ground up thoroughly. If you're out mowing brush with the thing and you don't want it to hog so much horsepower, you take the baffle out and you can move a little faster. Now we're going to go to work.
I'm not going to bore you to death by doing the whole patch, but you can obviously see what happens to material like that in one pass with a flail mower.